parenting is like being the player on the ground you know you don't know from where the ball is going to hit you and you need to be prepared with the bat right so we're talking about screen time and uh, our idea is to empower you with your batting skills you know such that no matter what comes from the environment you can handle it and you can make your you know child or you can help your child you know develop irrespective of what's happening in the environment so let's go into batting what could you as a parent do with children such that you could you know take them off the grip of the screen time or you could uh, nullify this impact that screen time is creating on them and also prevent children from going into screen addiction so the acronym we need to remember as parents which is very simple is bat no matter what comes your way just bat okay so b a t s bats so what does b stand for b is the whole root cause of all of this when we are seeing is boredom okay most people would say that my child is getting bored and that's why i'm giving them you know a tab or a phone because they love uh, seeing videos they love seeing rhymes they're learning faster or they love to you know see some interesting movies or uh, you know science videos any of it so the first thing that is at the source of it is boredom now let's understand boredom in two ways one is what's its connection to screen time second what is actually boredom Okay, most of the times right now we're seeing children also come up with you know one dialogue saying I'm bored, and they want something to happen immediately after they communicate boredom, and we as parents rush in to save our children from boredom. Yes, yeah. So when we rush in to save our children from boredom, the first thing we generally tend to do, which is the easiest, is to get them to screen time. which is either we hand them to you know a tv or we hand them over to a you know computer or a you know gadget in their hand and say why don't you try this okay so which is i'm not saying right and wrong but that's the way it is today right now most parents are now with boredom it's also that as parents we have somewhere picked up the mindset that it is our responsibility to keep our children away from free or uh, boredom it's like we think that boredom is bad and we look at boredom as oh my child is not taken care properly or we go into our uh, you know either confusion mode or a guilt mode and we just want to get off it immediately let me clarify this part of it where we are saying that according to science boredom is a precursor or it is required it's a first phase of creativity So if you're looking at a child being creative which is very important for today's era where it's not about IQ anymore or EQ about anymore it's about being different it's about being yourself and you know being unique then creativity is the key and if you want your children to be creative then boredom is a precedent which is when a child gets bored that's when they can think different that's when they will find out of the box you know solutions so as a parent we need not panic with the word boredom and we need not rush to take an action around boredom but we need to respond to it rather than react to it so are you ready to respond now let's look at what we can do so when a child comes and says uh, you know i'm bored the first thing is to you know rush and take an action but we're going to switch it now you could turn around and you know throw the ball back at them and ask say yo you feeling bored acknowledge the feeling and ask them what do you think we can do can we try something different what would keep you off it encourage them as much to come up with answers beyond screen beyond digital gadgets beyond tv yes it is also good to give them sometimes but not always so the moment you ask them you're making them think beyond what they're right now thinking is the best solution that itself is you know as first step that you've taken second point this is about boredom and second point is bats which is a which is finding alternatives a stands for alternatives what is the child inclined towards which is far more interesting than even screen time so even if a child is you know a screen addict or a you know somebody who's on a heavy heavy digital uh, diet then finding alternatives can be a very good idea so some children will be uh, you know more inclined to music some children will be more inclined to movement they would want to jump and they would want to you know scream or they would want to play or they would want to maybe do some uh, clay modeling or most of them also love to play around with the uh, vessels in the kitchen 
so you could direct the focus back into the kitchen into the bedrooms i mean as simple as asking the children to say would you want to see if you know a bed sheet or a bed spread can be made into a toy or would you want to see how to play you know a pillow fight anything i mean you just need to figure out different alternatives another way to look at alternatives could also be hobbies or classes which kind of classes or hobbies or you know new skills that the children can learn it could be the child may be fascinated with the skating so see if there can be something done around skating so if a child is into a class he may also try to use some more time understanding it or maybe if they're good at drawing um most of the time most children are very much inclined to working with nature which is especially doing gardening you know sowing their seed it could be a very simple activity of saying that would you want to try you know sowing the seed and it will work differently and next week you could try some other seed so the you know different sizes the child generally is fascinated with how each size you know seed will make a difference in the seed so kindling their curiosity which is leading them towards creativity rather than you know taking them towards boredom so as a parent our first reaction to next time whenever you hear the boredom is not to take immediate step and you know get them on to technology because you are busy but to actually work it out with them and move them towards creativity with alternate activities and what's the next word bats it's t so t stands for time now screen addiction or screen time if you see as a pattern will be a certain time of the day when they are hooked to technology or they are hooked to the screen or you know they are busy with the gadgets if you could as a parent understand what is this time that your child is really stuck to the gadgets and doesn't want to look around the you know environment doesn't want to interact and uh, if you have spotted them to be a screen addict also there is a certain time in which they do it they are not uh, on to technology or they are not into that kind of a challenge when they are on the move or they when they are in the school uh, some of the parents have reported that you know while i'm traveling uh, traveling i'm driving and i don't know what to do with the child so i hand over my phone valid thing but is there some other way to do it could you sing along in the car you know some music on the radio or if it's you know coming back home looking at saying okay is it that immediately after coming home the child wants to pick up the tap or wants to pick up the you know gadget or open the tv then can you shift the pattern can you break the pattern instead of you know just going home straight and asking them to change could you stop by somewhere take a you know small stroll and then go home talking about something else where they're already busy or could you you know take them to a nearby park and then go back or when you go back home can you switch the topic and look at saying uh, would you want to do some part of you know lunch with me or you know getting them into some other activity which breaks their pattern or let's say a child has a habit of you know before going to sleep watching a rhyme and uh, sleeping which is actually quite dangerous because only those images will be flashing when they are sleeping so it could be about saying you know instead of getting onto the screen it could be about saying do you want to you know draw a story out to me or do you want to enact a story out to me or maybe you do it for them so just change the patterns and observe what times they are hooked to the screen and see if we could you know break the pattern change the pattern The next one is a very important one which is S. S stands for support and surrounding. You as a parent are going to be the most important, you know, factor in their life and uh, you know how you do things and what you do is going to really go a long way in building their future. So as a parent, you know, when you see them on screen, it's not to jump on them, pounce on them and say don't do it and or stay away from this. I'm not going to give you this, you know, tab or you know, go into the reprimand mode. It is about offering support. offering support from their world let's take it that it's not children we are equally like children where all of us are hooked to our phones um i haven't seen adults who don't have phones in their hand we are constantly having phones constantly looking into our screens and children are only mirroring it so the support that they need from us is to create it in the environment through communication you know try to uh, work more around bonding uh bonding in such a way that the child is naturally more interested in your voice and feels there is much more you know new stuff possible there than their you know screen which is going to offer them different uh, stimulation uh when you bonding is heavier they are more inclined to you uh try to talk about you know what exactly happened with you in the day you know something interesting happened and see if they would like to share it back and try to create more of uh, you know family times and circle times where or maybe it could be a learning time 
where you are talking about what you learned today. Um, another very interesting thing that you can uh, you know look at doing is actually taking a e, e fasting. E fasting as a family, not just for the child, but as a family, where you say that okay, today two hours, you know, all of us go on e fast, you know, all of us put our gadgets away, and it's going to be only family time, you know, maybe play something or go out somewhere. Um, a very good way to get children off the you know uh, screen hook is to actually go into nature. As a family, go into nature and you know say no no to any of the screens allow around you, and uh, maybe mountains could be uh, you know nature parks could be anywhere where you're really spending time with children. And spending time is not just walking along, but really talking to them, kindling their curiosity, asking them what do you see, how do you think it's like that. For example, if you see a giraffe, asking them say what makes this neck so long. You know, talk like them with them. So that's going to be a very fundamental factor. Apart from all of this, uh, there are some very interesting things that you can try. As parents, we know screen time is going to be there, but right now we are getting used by it. We are getting concerned by it. Is there a way to turn it back and use it for your favor? So one of the things that um, you know I thought was you could actually play around with it. For example, there is a desirable behavior in children, which is if children, uh, if you children, if you want children to, uh, you know, maybe improve on their handwriting, or if you want them to eat uh, vegetables, or if you want them to do homework, list down all the desirable, uh, you know, habits and desirable things that you want in children, and uh, say, you know, these are the uh, things that if you do in a day, you know, you will earn some stars, and they love earning stars, and you know, have stickers of stars, and say these are things that if you have, you would earn stars so if you do this three stars if you do this four stars and keep the stickers there every time that a ch- you know, child does something desirable you put the you know stickers up and say okay these three stickers are yours because you did this and their screen time has to be earned with these stickers it's just like how you go shopping right you pick up uh, you know dresses and things for uh, four five thousand and then you get your gift vouchers and the next time you use it for purchase just the same thing so encourage children to you know really buy their screen time earn their screen time then they realize the value and not just you know they will love to do it they will find enough screen times and they will ensure that they're going to buy it out but in the process they're also going to build themselves so this is going to be an interesting activity if and it's up to parents to really make it creative exciting for children don't make it a boring uh, you know routine for them make it more exciting use more colors you know you get creative Maybe you create your own earning system as well. That if you spend your time with children, then you earn your you know screen time, something like that. So it's completely a creative process, and uh, hope this really helps you in uh, overcoming the you know entire challenge around uh, screens and gadgets. And you have a great parenting time.